It's Whip Wednesday, recorded on a Tuesday. Do do do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and this is my second time recording. It really is. Um, and I, for whatever reason, I'm tired and the lights are bothering me. Like I've got a ring light here. Can you tell it's got a little bit yellow light and I've got the soft box light, which has more. Hey, what happens if we change the color? Maybe it won't bug my eyes so much. Very blue. See, very blue. And kind of in between. We'll go with the kind of in between similar lighting on both sides I don't know I don't think it's gonna help with whatever like all of a sudden I'm just really tired and the eye lights are hurting my eyes and I tried recording and realized I forgot a whole bunch of stuff a super rambly in a weird way not this weird way but a different weird way so um things we're making Thursday is not what we're talking about <laughs> However, come back for things we're making Thursday because one of the things that I'm not showing today but I have worked on this week is my blanket. Um, things we're making Thursday is blanket month. And so I have done something for my blanket. Come back tomorrow to watch things we're making Thursday, which will be recorded on a Wednesday. <laughs> and the other thing I can't show you today is the thing that I spent most of my yarn time on this week and that is my daughter's ski mask which is finished I finished it last night Yay! and I will be showing that on Friday that I recorded on Thursday because that's how I roll <laughs> okay um that actually leaves one thing that I have actually worked on, kinda, I think. I wrote it on my list, so I must have worked on it at some point in time during the week. And that is the um, pouch that I'm making for my daughter's boyfriend, Caleb. And um, it's got over here, it's got the eye, and it's kinda getting its little shape a little bit. And it's got this bit over here. It even picked up some yellow down in here, which it hadn't been doing. Um, I use the twine technique so I don't have floats to carry. And it's it doesn't pull tight, but just like regular color work, it, it doesn't have a lot of stretch. Whereas over here, it was quite a bit of stretch. Um, this is the lifeline, this white bit, and that just gets pulled out. You can put that in if you're doing lace work, if you're doing color work, if you're doing anything that you're like, I've gotten this far and I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up. You put the lifeline in, it catches it so that if you take out your, your um, if you drop stitches or you like have to rip stuff back, you only have to rip back as far to here because that is gonna hold all of those stitches and you can just pick them up. Um, and that is very nice. And I decided to do that when I had to come back to here. And I had not quite where I am, like I have, I'm a couple rows past where I am. I was down below the eye here, but it wasn't quite here to this bit. So I had about that much, where's the yellow here? I had about that much. That's, you know, that's quite a bit. I would have been that much further, you know, if I hadn't have had to take that out. I don't know what was wrong with my count. I've been counting very carefully. I'm gonna do one more set. I call um, a, a row set because I always, I, I'm, doing the pearl side. When I started it, I was on the pearl side. Pearl across, knit back, that's a set. I have, my goal is to do one a day. When I finish one more, I'm gonna put in another lifeline. Um, and that's just because I know that everything's working right here and I don't wanna to have to rip back further. So every few rows, like approximately, you know, an inch-ish, is where um, I'm planning to put in a lifeline. And um, yeah, is there anything else I wanted to say about it? I don't know. Um, I realized that it's only a month and a half late for Christmas, which actually considering isn't too bad. I started it like the week before Christmas, like seriously. But um, I'm really excited. I will get seamed up the side. I'll do a Kitchener on the bottom. Um, 
I don't have to line it. That's part of why I did the twined version is because I don't want to have any chances of any kind of floats. I know that you can do like really small floats and still not have to do it on the bottom. I'm just doing the twined stitch. Um, and I get a little confused when I look at my list. It seems rather short right now. I only have, not counting the temperature stuff, I only have like two, this and one other, and one of my, my knitting, my blanket, that are currently knitting casts on. I'm, I have some things I might cast on, or I have something I might pull out. I have to make some decisions, but today is not that day. Um, and I only have like three active crochet projects. Um, and one of them I actually haven't started, but um, it is definitely on the plan for today. So I feel like every time I look at my list of what can I work on right now, um, I'm just like, am I missing something? Don't I have more going on? And I don't. I do have a few things that I need to start or want to start because um, I want to knit a couple of cardigans, one for my grandson and one for my granddaughter. And I've been putting off casting those on just because I've had other things. Um, and now that my daughter's ski mask is gone to her, the I don't feel the time pressure right now. Um, that was a time pressure because I started it last week when I realized Oh, she needs something because she's going skiing and she doesn't really have anything, so let me hurry and make her something. Um, I have the blanket that I'm doing for the Mystery Yarn Challenge. We have until March 10th to finish that. I would like to actually finish it in February, but we'll see. I like that, there, that I, my goal is um, to finish it in February and that's my goal and then I have the leeway on that project that I can still make it into the giveaway not that I care but I like the ha that like incentive to get things up you know it's not really about the giveaway it's really about the participation I'm like excited to be like hey put my thing in your video let's participate it's a play thing it was always like um, I would take classes and they're like, here's your goal and here's your reward. And I'm like, no, I'm just doing it because um, I do my homework and I want your pleasure. I want your appreciation. I The appreciation of my stuff feels more incentivizing than the prizes. Um, and that's just what it is. I'm like excited to be like, I got it done. Praise me. <laughs> and I don't actually need praises, but I enjoy them. It makes me happy. Um, it's not my love language, but it makes me happy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the other thing is Judy's Creation and Crochet. She's got um, her deadline for her bird of the month is the 25th this month. Gotta love the short month, right? Um, but it's longer this year than normal. Uh, she has that and what I'm making is gonna be pretty small and I'm actually probably gonna make multiple things just because I can. Cause I have so many small projects that I could make for it. So I'm probably gonna make one thing today. It, I guarantee I will make it start to finish today. And then tomorrow's project might take one or two days, depending on my time. And I'm excited about that. So I'm not even worried about that because those one or two things fits the deadline for her. And I will just make a bunch and then send her one picture at one or two pictures because it depends um, at the deadline to say, here's all of the things I made that were inspired by the bird of the month that's the plan but because of that because I know that I could whip out things for the bird of the month with my plan of this is what I want to do for it and that I could just whip them out in a day or two at tops and I can make a multiple there's no time pressure there at all and with the multi-valence that's the round blanket there's still not even a time pressure 
there. Um, honestly, if it doesn't get done, I will be a little disappointed with myself, but it's not going to hurt anything. There's no, it's not like I'm giving it to somebody by a certain date. So I actually don't really have time pressures because, you know, this is already a month and a half late. Um, he'll just appreciate it whenever he gets it. And I just hope to have it done before the next time they go to a rent fair. That's my own thing. Um, and if I don't, that's okay. So, yeah. It's kind of weird. I'm like, I don't have very many things on my list and I don't have the time pressure. What do I do? Anyway, that's it. Uh, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. Oh yeah, and come join my Facebook group. I'm gonna have the link down below. Please come join my face. Oh, I'll also have the link to this. But my Facebook group, it's it's small right now. It's only like a week or two old. It's like so baby and so few people. But I would really love it if you would come and join us. And you can share pictures of everything you've been working on. And you can share, and it doesn't have to be with yarn. But it can be with yarn. I love to see your knitting and your crocheting. But I would love to see like, hey, um, I made these you know, this plastic canvas thing. I made this cross stitch. I made this embroidery. I made this art. I wrote a song. I wrote a poem. I did this thing with wood. I don't care. I want to see it all. I just want to see what you create. And so I want to invite you to that. Please come join me. It would be fun. It should be fun though. Um, or I guess it could be Studio C. It could be. It could be fun. Um, I'll link that video up here because that's funny. Studio, if you don't know Studio C, uh, especially the old stuff, new stuff not quite as much, but the old Studio C cast, yeah, they were fun. Anyway, I'm going to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!